Let's get this started. We're going reverse lunges, but really broad step. We're gonna open up the hips. This is, a, this is an Elliott creation right here. More of a lunge stretch than, uh, than just reverse lunges. So we are getting into a death by workout. And if you've never done one of these before, then essentially we got a minute of time. We're gonna do a certain number of reps. Let's say five reps to start out with of an exercise. The next minute, we're gonna increase the number of reps to six. Next minute, we'll increase to seven, and we'll keep going like that until you die. That's why it's called the death by workout. Yeah, and actually, yeah. There you go, yeah, don't stop. Whatever happens, don't stop working until you die. That disclaimer. <laughs> But yeah, be, but in all seriousness, be careful. <laughs> We're gonna try to push the limits today, but to be safe at the same time. Oh, and let's get into some squats. By die, that's exactly what I mean. If you don't finish the number of reps in the allotted time, that is your death. Oh yeah, so if you die, you'll take I want you to push it as far as you can. And once you die, you'll take the next minute off. And then you'll start the round after that. Two rep counts <laughs> below the one that you were attempting. So if I was attempting the round of 10 burpees, and that's where I failed, then I'd take the next minute off, and I'd start back again at eight. Try to build it back up again. Yeah, your score would be nine plus the number of reps in that partial round. All right, and jumping jacks. So, oh, that's right, it's Friendly Competition Friday. So we will be scoring this workout. And your score is the number of successful rounds completed, plus the <laughs> remainder, <laughs> I get back in. I'm back in uh, middle school, plus the remainder. How are we going back? What kind of adult still you <laughs> So, <laughs> see if I can get it this time. Your score will be the, t the last number of completed rounds, plus remaining reps no plus, plus the reps have completed in the partial round all right and we'll step it back follow um the formatting in the description we're not in the description we'll frog around in the comment where ellen and i will post our results oh that was a struggle and back with your frog <laughs> okay like we get it and let's go speed frog. Woo. Back speed frog. Oh, and let's step one leg forward. We're gonna do our Spider-Man crawl. And then you can crawl forward. You can continue to move out your space. Get a few more of these. Woo now I've got a surprise for you guys in the stretch down. I've been learning some new moves <clears throat> to develop the center splits and the front splits, and I want to show it to you guys. Learned it from a buddy of mine, John. <clears throat> if you want to learn how to get more flexible, I can direct you to him <clears throat> and his tutelage. <laughs> That's a fun word, tutelage. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling a little tutelage coming on right now. And let's go down into the monkey. <laughs> a little monkey around. <laughs> you think his tutelage is good? <laughs> Show you something that'll make your brain explode. And let's start to bring the hips up. Woo! And 
And let's get into our duck walk. Do these quads. Oh, the knees are feeling amazing. All this monkeying about. And let's come on up and we'll get into our horse. So think hips back, but chest up in this wide squat stance. Get low, get low, get low, get low. And drop your hands to the floor. And we'll do our bear crawl. Crawl like a bear, you can go lateral bear. I like the backwards bear a lot. It's a great way to stretch out the hamstrings. And let's bring those knees down to a hover. We'll get our lion prowl. Just keep moving around, forward, backward, sideways. However you want to do it. And let's press back into Downward Dog. You can shift your weight left and right. All right, and let's do five dive bombers. Dive through, chest up, and press back. It's one, four more, on your own. Now walk your hands back and I want you to sit in the squat. Guys, this is what we've been building up to all week. Here is the combo, putting together the moves we've learned. The combo. It'll be a monkey. Into, and you can do this with me if you want, into a monkey spin. Into a roll. Straight into our half rotation bridge, low bridge. So let's try it again together. We'll go monkey, monkey spin, into our roll, and then throw it back. There you go, let's see if we get two more reps in. Oh, I almost forgot what I was doing. Spin move. Roll. Hiya. And throw it straight back. Yeah. <laughs> it's a monkey routine. Nice. Roll. Oh, straight into. Yeah. All right, and stand it on up. Shake it out. Oh. So there we go, guys. We're getting limber. We're getting monkey-like. Let's go trunk twist. Windmills. And we'll bring it up. Go to dancer side reach. And wide. Other side. Let's get into some TikToks. One more per side. And reach down to the floor. Hands up and back. And down. Two more of those. Last one. Ooh, let's go hands on your hips. We'll do some old man surfers. Ooh, that feels good today. Or reverse direction. And shake it out. Okay, guys. We're gonna have 
fair amount of time to rest in these early rounds, and then it's gonna slowly decrease to nothing as we reach the end. So all we gotta do right now, four burpees, eight jumping jacks. There you go. Four burpees, eight jumping jacks. The burpees will increase by one every round, jumping jacks will increase by two every round. So we're going in five. Four burpees, eight jumping jacks, and two, one, begin. You can cruise. When you're done, just rest the remainder of that minute. The faster you go, the more time you get to rest. We're going all the way to, I believe it's 12. But pretty sure it's 12. If you make it that far, I'm doubtful. I think it's 10. Or maybe it goes to 13. Yeah. yeah. So next round, coming up in six seconds, we're doing five burpees and 10 jumping jacks in two, one, begin. Turn to that nasal breathing. Get yourself to calm down after that round. And guys, if the burpees become a lot, you can also do the down up. So you just go into a plank. And then you jump and clap. That works great too. And jumping jacks, let's say bring your hands together. You can bend your arms and then down to your side. You got called out by a little girl. She said, just let's keep your arms straight. Side. You can bend. Two, one, and six burpees. And then you just double the amount of burpees you do. That's the number of jumping jacks. It's easy. Whew, piece of cake. I guess it's only 12. Oh yeah, nine rounds, nine rounds. It's way more doable. And we're almost halfway there, guys. We're going in five seconds. Two. One and begin. Seven burpees. Taste in my mouth. Of something great about to happen. Right, Ten seconds, and we hit around of eight burpees. It's starting to get spicy, guys. This is where we enter the fight. In two, one, begin.
going places. And 15 seconds left. Tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me so if you fall off on any of these rounds, take the next minute off, full break, and I want you to jump back in two rounds below where you fell off. Go on three, two, one, nine burpees, go. Speed up those jumping jacks. Buy yourself some time. Knock out the real work, which are these burpees. 10 burpees coming up in eight seconds. Go on three, two, one, begin. We're in that home stretch, guys. <clears throat> Two rounds left. 11 burpees coming up in five. Three, two, one, begin. Ten seconds before we start the final round. Twelve burpees, twenty-four jumping jacks. In five, three, two, one. Let's do it. Here we go, five more seconds. Two, one, rest. And actually, it's not really rest. We got four double lunge squats, eight speed skaters to get into right now. Then we can rest, right? So count these like this. Lunge, lunge, squat is one. So get into it when you're ready. So you can count that rep after each squat. There's four. The speed skaters will be one side is one, two, three, six, seven. I live Record your score. 
during that rest period. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross well, the one. Start round two in five seconds. <laughs> Go five double inch squats, ten speed skaters. Ready? Begin. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright. It's hard to breathe, but that's all right. Hush. Skaters. Three, four. Take my eyes open to you should be able to stay with it, guys. You should be able to catch your breath. Once again, the rhythm of how we're doing these, these movements should get a little easier before it gets really bad. Alright, so it's the same rep scheme, it's two different movements. It's doing six double lunge squats plus 12 speed skaters. In two, one, begin. It's hard to breathe, but that's all right. Hush. Oh yeah, this is gonna be the one. There we go. Twenty seconds left. All right, we're heading into the round of seven. Seven double lunge squats, and twice the amount of speed skaters, 14. Three, two, one, let's go. That's it, guys. Fight through this right here. After this combo, we're gonna do purely abs after that. So we can dig deep into this right here. In the lungs and the legs. Two, one, begin. Eight. There you go, Al. 12 seconds left. <laughs> Dig in, finish out that wrong round strong. Remember, if you don't make it, take the next run off. Two, one, and begin. Nine reps. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's three rounds left, guys. Uh-oh. 10 reps coming up. Or wherever you're at. Three, two, one, begin. left guys dig in in two one begin feel that burn Last round, three, two, one, let's go, 12. Dig in here. V-ups or lemon squeezes plus eight alternating V-ups. There's a V-up, here's a lemon squeeze. Four of those by eight alternating V-ups like that. We'll get a chance to catch our breath, guys. Try to get the work done in this minute. Are really fast transitions. Do your best. You need to take a minute off. You're gonna jump in with, with us in the next round. Do that. I mean, three, two, one. Same format. Five V ups plus ten alternating V ups. Have blaster to finish things off, guys. If it starts to bug your back in any way. Do sit-ups and crunches. That'll be a really good scaling option. Or even crunches the whole way. That'll be good. Alright, 
six reps in two, one, begin. And 12 alternating. It's really starting to add up, guys. <clears throat> this might be the hardest one yet. <laughs> Three, two, one. We got nine reps. <laughs> Yeah. 
Ah, we <laughs> get around to 11. Ah, we <sighs> okay, yeah, and if you want to keep going, even if you miss it, go for it. in the last round. Oh, remember your score though, if you get a partial round. No. You couldn't get a kick off of both heels. Oh, guys. We're in our rest period. Yikes, my abs haven't felt this destroyed in a long time. We're gonna stretch it out for sure. Hopefully we didn't do too much damage there. <laughs> and while you're recovering, let me explain the scoring one more time and see if I can be a little more clear. Uh, like for example, this last set of movements, the V-ups and alternating V-ups, I finished, I completed the round of 10. In the 11th round, I got 11 V-ups and then eight alternating V-ups. So my score would be 10 plus 19. Here's an example. All right, we're gonna stretch out the abs, guys. You drop your hips down, lift your chest up. Ooh, yeah, the hip flexors are feeling it. Into the abs. You tilt your head side to side. You turn it left and right. Whatever feels good. And let's sit back in the child's pose. Just for a moment here. Feels so good though. Maybe two moments. Let's come on forward, hips down, chest up. And this time, bring your gaze all the way up. Deep breath in. And exhale, look even further up and back. Keep going with every breath. Inhale. Exhale, look back further. Big stretch in the abs. Keep going. Two more big breaths. And last one. Ooh. All right, you can kind of wiggle it out. All right, and when you're ready, we're gonna drop it to the bottom of our squat. And this is where we will recover for three minutes. We'll just settle in for now. How you doing, man? Did. Nice. Two deaths. Yeah. Nice. 
I'd throw you a bone, you know? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> if you're struggling with this one, you can definitely stand up and shake it out. And we can start to play around. Let's get into our squat bows. I like this sequence. Squat bows with the double thumbs. And then you can do one thumb. And zero thumbs. Let's go into the squat stance and we'll press out our left knee to the side. And then we'll let it fall in. There's one rep. Let's do seven reps per side. So we'll press it out. Allow it to fall back in. Two. Three. Two more reps. And out and hold. You get a 10 second hold. Two, one, and we'll switch to the other side. Seven presses to extension. Two, and then settle back in. And last one, press out and hold, hold for 10. One, and we'll bring it on in and sit super tall right here. Shift left and right. We're actually almost, we have 10 seconds left. And we're done. That was kind of fast today. Two. One, that was three. Ooh, we started at 16.30. And shake out the legs. Oh, lightheaded. Let's do some old man surf first. And we'll reverse it. Ooh, hip flexors today. We're gonna need a good stretch. And let's do boomerangs. All right, and let's take it to the wall, guys. We're gonna do our couch stretch. Form that steep angle of the shin. This is how we're gonna get into the hip flexor today. First, we're gonna do the top of the quad by pushing the heel back, or the butt back into the heel. Keeping the rib cage pulled down, those abs tight. You don't wanna be rounding here and pushing back like this. Abs tight, and then press back. Do that right on top of the quad. Do about 20 more seconds here. So our quads have done some work this week. Five more seconds. Two, one, and hips forward and drop them down. You wanna squeeze this glute. Whatever leg is pulled back, try to activate that glute and that'll allow that hip flexor to, re to relax and get deeper in that stretch. So squeeze that glute, hands up, lean out. And we'll pull back into extension. For one, we're going for 10 reps. Try to keep that glute turned on. Two more. Ooh, yeah.
yeah. Now switch legs. You have that vertical shin. If not, no worries, pull your knee away from the wall so you can get this upright position here. Push back, butt onto your heel. Keep that pressure on. Nice long hold here, 30 seconds. Abs tight. that pressure on. Quads really need this today. 10 more seconds. Two, one. Hips forward and bring them down. Squeeze that glute. Hands up and we'll lean to the side. An extension. For 10 reps on this side as well. Two more. Ooh, and we'll crawl it on off the wall. On off, crawl it off the wall. Ooh. And let's get into our pigeon. So bring one leg forward, spin the foot. And we'll sit up tall. Yeah, feeling the stretch today. Ooh, yeah. The lunch squats, get the booty. Three, two, one, and lay it down, guys. Relax into this one. About 30 seconds here, just chill. And we'll make our way up. And we'll switch sides. Other foot or left foot in my case. Comes forward and we'll sit up tall. This one feels money today. We're gonna sit here for a little bit. Especially if you bring your hands off the ground, gravity will push you a little deeper. You can reach your back foot back further to get a little more stretch. Two, one, and we'll lay it down. Same thing here, about 30 seconds, guys. Relax. And slowly come on up. Whew. We'll shake out the legs. Ah. All right, guys, walk 
your hands back to your feet. We'll hang here and ragdoll. Grab your elbows and we'll just swing left and right. Ooh, yeah. About 30 seconds here. Stretch out those hammies. All right, and stand it on up. We'll take it to the wall. We're gonna stretch out our, our chest, open up shoulders, go one arm back. <laughs> Good, Al. <laughs> Lean into it. Pull straight across the chest, through the shoulder. And lean into it a little more. Pull your chest open. Five more seconds. Two, one, and keep that tension. We're going down into the squat. 10 seconds here. Two, one, and ease off that tension. Other side, ooh, shake it out. Whoa, lightheaded. <sighs> Lean in. Pull the chest open a little more. More tension. This one's so good. No more for five seconds. Two, one, and down into the squat. Keep that tension as we just change the angle at which it's pulling. Five more seconds. Two, one, and come on up. Both hands. I just go straight in front of you, kind of chest height. Head through your shoulders, down to the floor. You can swing your hips and shoulders. Shake it out. We're not done yet, guys. I told you I'd have a little surprise for you. Surprises. And here's what it is. It's called a horse stretch. We're gonna go super wide. This will help you get your center splits or pancakes. This is a, a starting progression. So the idea is we're gonna reach the hips back and try to drop them down low so that our thighs become parallel to the ground. Wide with the legs. Hips go way, 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 way back. And try to drop them low so your thighs are parallel to the ground. And to keep seeing your butt back and lift your chest up nice and tall. All right, chest up as tall as you can get it. Hips back a little further. You should feel this in your buns. They should be grabbing hard. But way, way, way back. Chest up. And we'll hold. Now, can you settle down a little deeper? Keep your chest up. We'll hold for 15 more seconds. And try to open up your knees a little more as well. So you want your shins to be vertical here. So move your feet in a little bit if you need to. Five more seconds. Two, one. Come on up and shake it out. We're gonna do one more set of those. I want the butt reaching way, way, way back. I'm gonna do this on profile so you guys can see. And we want our knees pulling open to the side as well. So let's go wide with that stance. We'll pull the knees out to the side by activating your glutes. Sit your butt back. Way, way, way back. So you should be able to flutter your toes back here. Now lift your chest up tall, engaging these lower back muscles. Try to sit your butt lower. Try to get to parallel or even lower. You got 20 more seconds here. So you go a little lower. Chest up though. And butt way back. Feel it in those buns. 10 seconds. Chest up. Two, one. 
stand up and shake it out. Hi. We're gonna sit down, we'll roll onto our backs. We're gonna happy snail it, guys. So toes go up, over. Whoo, slower. Are you sore? Okay. That's what I was feeling. Five more seconds, guys. And now bring your knees in, hug your knees into your chest for five, two, one. Legs extended, it's time for everyone's favorite stretch. Stretch-ish position. Legs extended, hands out to your side and relax, guys. Enjoy the Shavasana, happy oh. Aloha Friday. Upgrade complete. Hey. Oh, yeah, hell. Guys, should we add up our scores? We're back and let's review the scoring system one more time. Your score will be the total number of completed rounds plus the completed number of reps in the round that you failed, so. Uh, and then you add up all the rounds, you add up all the reps, and that'll be your score. So I got total number of rounds completed is 34 for me. Total remaining reps, or total reps completed, 19 L, 28 rounds plus uh, about 20, uh, 42 extra reps. He speaks! And you can see our breakdown in the comment section if you wanna verify that you're doing it properly because that was pretty confusing. I don't blame you. All right, guys, enjoy that workout. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Happy Aloha Friday. See you next week. Aloha.